Every text notification, every ding from your computer, even voice calls could be a scammer trying to get personal information and money out of you. Well, now more and more people are coming forward to report fraud. Hello? Barbara Rupp says she's aware of text and email scams, but when her phone showed her cable company was calling, she listened. They were teaming up with Target and they were offering a discount. Rupp says she was told she could slash her bill $50 a month. It was for internet and phone. It sounded legit until the caller told her she would have to buy a Target gift card to start the deal. That's when bells and whistles went off. Last year, the Better Business Bureau's scam tracker received more than 9,000 reports of phishing scams. That's nearly double the previous year's record. Even if you don't lose money, it's so important to report a scam. According to the organization, any attempt by scammers to convince an individual or company to reveal personal information is a phishing attack. The methods include emails, voice calls, and increasingly text messages, as more scammers utilize artificial intelligence to craft messages. Most of us have 900, 9,000 emails not open on our phones. But when you get a text message, the urge to open it quickly is there. The Better Business Bureau's Melanie McGovern says slow down if you receive a message that puts you into panic mode. She says look for red flags like unexpected issues with your account, links to make a payment, alerts that you didn't sign up for, and typo-filled and urgent language. Moving forward, Barbara says she'll be suspicious of all texts, calls, and emails that she didn't initiate. I don't want to see this happen to somebody and for them to lose money. And that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.